Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Where, for some reason, I'm attempting to play an MMO of all things on my channel. Um, I don't know how well this will work. Especially considering the certain type of tasks MMOs tend to ask of its players. The running around, the collecting things, the killing five yeah. monsters in this area, and then three monsters in that area. But, I'll play it by ear, see what kind of editing I might have to do to actually make this somewhat interesting, and hope for the best. In the meantime, it's interesting that this game opens with a dream sequence, um, but... But it makes for an effective way to kind of, like, introduce the main antagonist, the main plot, uh, for the base game. Because ultimately, just in these, um, just a couple minutes or so, we have who we are, who we're fighting against, what we will become. And that, I feel, is the the guiding focus of Final Fantasy XIV's base game, is that your goal is to become a legend uh, in Eorzea, and you are supposed to fight this man. And that conflict, the end of that conflict, is uh, the goal. Who you were before this dream does not matter. Where did you come from does not matter. All you are are an adventurer traveling by carriage to Gridania. Oi! You'll write less. Of course, you're having a perfectly good nap. Probably having a nightmare. Um, also, uh, I find it interesting that they're able to just... I wonder if they just have this carriage going around in circles in order to give the illusion of movement. You're moaning your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be the Aether, I reckon. Some are more prone to the sickness than others. That does not sound like a good thing to have on your hands at all times, uh, while you're trying to move about the city. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. That guy is chugging down that wine. You know, okay, so I understand that you people, normal people, cannot see Moogles, but like, they're just kind of flying around with trumpets, and nobody can hear the trumpets either. Feeling better, Koopo? Aha! You can see us. I had a feeling you could, Koopo. We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. And absolutely nobody sees this happening. Uh, normal folks can't hear or see us, which makes you special, Koopo. Is it some form of dyslexia to tell, say, to read words in in different order uh, rather than letters, or is that just uh, reading too quickly and not paying enough attention? And seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The woods been restless of late, lots of strange things happening. Have you chanced to witness anything suspicious, Koopo? Nope. I just showed up. Also, nobody noticed this bottle floating in midair. But of course you haven't, you've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then, we'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopo. Luckily, this game does have voice acting, because otherwise... I would be... I would have to read a lot in order to get through uh, this whole game. I don't know how far I actually expect to get. I might play this for a little while, see how far it stretches out, uh, until I realize that I've stretched myself too thin, and once again, another attempt at an MMO comes and goes. 
Grudania's still a far way off, in case you're wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how's about you keep me company until we get there? Oh no! Arrow- uh, no, uh, arrows are uh, showing up in like a second. Them young uns don't much care for conversation, see? Bremont's the name, and Pedlin's my trade. Pedaling? What do you peddle, sir? You're traveling by yourself with nothing but wine. As for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you are one of them new adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. As long as you have can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no circuit that adventure is a risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you to adventuring? Well, you see, what first attracted me to adventuring is... dot dot dot. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might as well... Might be as old Brumman's a chatterbox, but she sure as hell's ain't no busybody. We all have a secret or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather they stayed sacred too, which is why I don't go sticking my nose where it ain't welcome. I'm, I think I gave him this accent largely because of the very first sentence he said. I don't know if it necessarily represents him. Also, he chose the no scar character option. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory. Just, just breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Is this where the arrow shows up? Halt! Go no further! What's this then? Arrow! Whoa! That was a very effective attempt at saving him from the arrow. What's going on? A skirmish has broken out up ahead with the Exile! For your own safety, you must remain here until... Oh no, monsters have shown up! It's too bad there isn't an adventurer on this carriage who can help fight them. Although... Like, again, that's that whole thing in regards to the history. Bloody hells, we should've hold them here! Try to break clear! Uh, the fact that your character has no history. They show up and they're level one. They have done nothing in their lives. They came from nothing. They came from no one. They just existed at this moment. Although you could say that's essentially the thing with MMOs in general. Like in World of Warcraft, you create a human character and they just emerge from the ether. Uh, in uh, front of uh, the tower. I forget the name of the clearing it's in. That was too blade and close. Nice of the Ixel to send us a welcoming party, though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends, so just you take care, alright? By the by, is this your first trip to Gridania? Is it my first trip to Gridania? Let's say this is the character's first trip to Gridania. Also, I just realized my character has earrings, and I don't remember giving them that. Oh, wait, no. The earrings are equipment. Um, I forget about the fact... I, I keep, uh, th assuming, uh... Like, I, uh, I've played World of Warcraft so much that the actual earrings you equip don't actually show on your character. They're just decorations. It is. Well then, let's... let this journey to Durant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. The city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Brock Shroud. The biggest, luscious florist in all Eorzea. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be, saying that not since the Calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to come in, and gave the exile unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids have become a daily encourage. Birdman? Oh, yeah, the Ixel. Okay. Ah, it's long last. Behold, Gridania, the first nation blessed by the elementals. Ah. The Black Shroud. The Black the Shroud of Eorzea. To the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city state of Gridania. It's 
still looks like a very pretty game, I gotta say. Um, the thing with MMOs is they usually uh, tend to Once play the towards the lowest common denominator the the um, edge, in order to get more people to play the game. Um, so they're generally the built around art style versus being graphical the powerhouses. Of the seventh umbral era. And I would say that the art style of this game However, is very strong. The goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children. And today, she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. Although this is something I kind of find interesting in regards to the fact that this is an MMO, in that, like, every character is going to be the one who is the one who is going to tell a tale of this great realm. Um, everybody is Neo from the Matrix, uh, and we're all accomplishing that same act. And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to make the markets to deliver my wares, and then it's back to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks for keeping me company. What am I getting? Air? Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about and haven't met, and I'll consider a square. I wonder, do you actually see this guy ever again? the matron take her to her bosom that she may never want. And in her heart, so serenity, purity, and sanctity. Also, adventurers clearly wear short skirts. It's what they do. It's part of the fashion, really. Um, but yeah, I wonder if you actually see that guy ever again, and there, there's like a closure to that specific plot point, or if he's just there for like the intro tutorial. Though I've got to say, you've got to be a little bit brave in order to become an adventurer, because you show up to town with nothing but the clothes on your back and the money in your wallet. You have no place to stay. You don't know anybody. You're just hoping to show up, find a job, make some cash, hopefully put some food on the table for yourself. You there, yes you! Your face is not known to me. Newly come to the city, no doubt. I am Bertinent, a wood whaler of Gridania. It is my duty to protect our nation from our enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let us see which you are. Well, if you didn't have a giant mask over your eyes, you might be able to tell. Guy. Please select the control scheme you want to use. Mouse keyboard. Blah, blah, blah. No. Go away, tutorial. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's at least perform one quest. No, we do not need to learn how to do a quest. We know how to... To be recognized as an adventure in the city-state of Gridania, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. And that's one of the things that I think is a little... Like, okay, on one hand, Final Fantasy XIV really emphasizes the storyline. Um, but on the other hand, every time you start up a new game, you always have to do this tutorial. Another green adventurer, I presume. I thought as much. We cannot allow strangers to wander Grudania unchecked and untested. Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Carline Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local adventurers guild, in case you were wondering. The Carline Canopy is the building you see behind me. Speak to the Mother Mion within, and she will take you in hand. Yes, yes, that's... oh jeez. So many tutorials. And 
now we have Gridania by Day. There's, uh, of course, a day-night cycle, a little cycle through it. Um, at the very least, we get to see it in its brightest colors as we enter it for the first time. Um, I believe here you eventually get an inn. Ah, uh, I know how to go. What did that guy give me? Uh, what did uh, the guy from the caravan give me? He handed me something. It's not money. It's not inventory items. Not a key item. It's not the clothes on my back because I'm wearing them. She likes to read very blurry books. It's 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 uh, popular in Eorzea, in Gridania especially. Well, well, what have we here? A wide-eyed and wondering young adventurer come to put your name down at the guild, I assume. Welcome, Mion's my name, or Mother Mion as most call me, and the Carline Canopy is my place. As the head of the Adventurer's Guild in Gridania, I have the honor of providing guidance to the fledging heroes who pass through our gates. No matter your ambitions, the guild is here to help you attain them. In return, we expect you to fulfill your duties as an adventurer by assisting the people of Gridania. A fine deal, wouldn't you agree? And that's, I think, one of the interesting things. I'm going to be spending a lot of time comparing this game to World of Warcraft because that is my only frame of reference. I'm very sorry. Um, and that's the interesting thing about this game is it really emphasizes your role in society. Like, uh, as a character in World of Warcraft, you're kind of just moving from quest assigned to quest assigned. Whereas in here you're actually expected as the, the duty of an adventurer is to help the people. Does she have a monocle? Um, and to an outsider's eyes, all may seem well within our nation, but naught could be further from the truth. The people live in a constant state of apprehension. I keep flipping words around. It still makes sense though, so I'm okay with that. Uh, the Ixil and various gangs of common bandits provide an unending supply of trouble. Trouble compounded by the ever-present threats of the Garlean Empire to the north. And that is nothing to say of the Calamity. The Calamity being the events that ended the original version of Final Fantasy XIV. Which, I feel a little bit bad that I never got to try out the original version of Final Fantasy XIV. Even though I heard it was terrible. Even now, the wounds have barely begun to heal. Ah, uh, but I speak of it as if you were there. Forgive me. Five years past, Eorzea was well nigh laid waste, when a dread worm emerged from the lesser moon, and Dalamud, and rained fire upon the realm. It is which it is this which people call the Calamity. Scarcely a square malm of the Twelveswood was spared the devastation, yet despite the forest's extensive wounds, not a soul among us can recall precisely how it all happened. And this also kind of brings to mind again, like, where is your own character's history? Why does your own character n need this uh, exposition? I am well aware of how improbable that must sound to an outsider. It is improbable, but it's also true. For reasons we can ill explain, the facts surrounding the calamity are shrouded in mystery. There are as many versions of events as there are people willing to recount them. Yet amidst the hazy recollections and collect conflicting accounts all agree on one thing that Eorzea was saved from certain doom by a band of valiant adventurers whatever else we've misremembered none of us have forgotten the heroes who have risked life and limb for the sake of our realm and yet whenever we try to say their names the words die upon our lips and whenever we try to call their faces to mind we see naught but silhouettes amidst a blinding glare and you have to be really worried in regards to shared hallucinations, uh, shared memory loss by whole communities. Thus have the adventurers come to be known as the Warriors of Light. <laughs> I'm so... Pray do not feel daunted by the deeds of legends. We do not ask that you become another Warrior of Light. Only that you do what you can to assist the people of Gridania. Great or small, every contribution counts. I trust you will play your part. 
All that's left then is to conclude the business of registration. Here's a quill. Scrawl your name right there. I'm going to do that all the way from this side of the counter. Oh, and I would appreciate if you use your real name. There's a special place in the seventh hell for those who use amusing aliases. There are a lot of characters in this game, from my experience, who refer to the seventh hell. Nella Levy. Hmm. And you're quite sure that isn't an amusing alias? Very well. From this moment forward, you're registered adventurer of Gridania, a nation blessed of the elementals, the bounty of the Twelves Wood. The guild expects great things from you. Look at what just arrived. Another god's damned adventurer. Also, I like the camera move as it sweeps over past uh, your main character, following from the point of view of these wood whalers. Don't you start with that. Adventurers are the very salve that Gridania needs. The Elder Seed Seer herself bade us welcome them with open arms. Do you mean to disregard her will? We will disregard her will as much as we love wearing masks. Lest you, of course not, lest you forget it is my sworn duty to uphold the peace. Am I to blame if outsiders bring mistrust upon themselves? You, adventurer, mind that you do not cause any trouble here, or I shall personally cast you out of this realm and into the seventh hell. The seventh hell must actually be like a really bad hell in comparison to the other six. Is there more? Are there more hells beyond seven? Is there like a fifteenth hell? Like nobody really wants to say like they're gonna cast somebody to the fifteenth hell because then it's like, oh, you can't take that back. <sighs> Pay that outburst no mind. He meant only to counsel you. Suspicious characters have been prowling the Twelves of the Lake, you see, and the Wood Whalers feel they cannot afford to take any chances. Or be social at all to outsiders. As is often the way with the folk who live in isolation, Gridanians are wont to mistrust things they do not well know. Your good self included. Fear not, however, given a catalog of exemplary deeds and no more than a handful of years... The locals will surely warm to you. Oh, dear. On behalf of my fellow citizens, I welcome you to Gridania. May you come to consider our nation as your own in time. Now then, you may depend on old Mother Mayon to teach you a few things that every adventurer should know. And I suppose this is one interesting thing about Final Fantasy XIV's uh, setup, is that it actually um, takes the time to explain to you how, like, uh, teleporters work and the Ethernet works in Quest, rather than just kind of having them in-game and you just figure it out. Listen well to the wisdom of Mother Mew, then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.